Today we have with us Dr. Carrie Woodbury. She comes as a specialist. You can see from her credentials, it speaks for itself. And God, you know what? Come on, give God some praise, y'all. Yes, thank you. You know why it's so special to have her? And not because she's a doctor of Morgan Crook, because she's a woman of God. Come on, y'all. Yeah, yeah. She's a woman of God who just happens to be a doctor, who just happens to be the director, who just happens to be the director in chief of the Division of Plastic, plastic Surgery. Come on, y'all. Amen. So that means she knows how to cut really well. <laughs> <laughs> like the word of God. Woo, she yeah. she'll make no mistakes. But I asked her if she would come and just share with us on this Sunday. And so we are extremely honored. And again, can I share something with you about her? She never even told me. Someone else told me. That's what I love about Dr. Amen. She never said a word. We thank God. She's going to come. I'm going to put her in the middle. She's going to share with us about breast cancer awareness. Good morning, and thank you, Pastor Staples. Uh, it's an honor to be here today at Mount Zion, and I thank you for the opportunity just to say a word about breast cancer. Uh, you all look beautiful in your pink, and I'm excited to see the enthusiasm of the church family in terms of uh, coming out just to hear and celebrate and honor this month. As you know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month was started around 1985 when the American Cancer Society and one of the pharmaceutical companies, AstraZeneca, decided to make this month a month to make patients aware of breast cancer. Breast cancer being one of the leading causes of death, leading causes of cancer for women. And so about 260,000 patients are diagnosed with breast cancer each year and about 40,000 patients die. And for men, you're not spared. About 2,400 men are diagnosed with breast cancer each year, and about 500 men die from breast cancer. And so I want to take this opportunity just to make everyone aware as we talk about breast cancer awareness month and talk about some of the things I see as a health professional. I'm in plastic surgery, I do breast cancer reconstruction for patients. I'm originally from Nashville, Tennessee, and I've been here in the Morgantown area for about the past three years. I have a cousin, Sandra. She was in her 40s, and Sandra died from breast cancer. Mm. And for our family, it was shocking that she was so young. But for many of you who have had a family or friend with the diagnosis of breast cancer or who has died from breast cancer, you know that breast cancer strikes at any point, yeah. at any time. One out of every eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And when we think about the breast cancer statistics, we've come to learn that breast cancer disproportionately affects our black women. Yeah. And why is that? Why are black women more likely to die when they're diagnosed with breast cancer? We don't know all of the answers, but there are three things that we do know. Number one, we know that black women come to diagnosis a lot later. Number two, we know that black women tend to get breast cancer at a younger age. And number three, we know that the breast cancer in black women tends to be more aggressive. Hmm. So when we talk about breast cancer, we talk about how aggressive it is based on different types of cells in the breast cancer. So for black women, they have something called triple negative breast cancer, which means that it does not respond to estrogen, it does not respond to progesterone, and it does not respond to HER2 and so these are the things that make it more difficult for us to treat. Because when we treat breast cancer, sometimes we can take out the lump, we can take off the breast, call a mastectomy, or we can add things like radiation and chemotherapy and also hormone treatment. But for black women, those things don't always work well. And so therefore, the incidence of death is a lot higher. One out of every 32 black women will die from breast cancer whereas in other patients, it's one out of 39. 
So these are the things that we want to spread. Tell your friends, your family. Number one, get your mammograms. What are the things to know about? Feel your breast. Know your breast. We recommend that everyone do self-examinations. Look for lumps. It could be the size of a pea. It could be the size of a quarter. We know that the larger it is, the greater the chance that it could spread. Spread to your lymph glands and your armpits. If you feel a lump in your armpit, that could be a spread, so you want to get it checked out. It could spread to other organs like your lungs or your liver. So if you're coughing or short of breath, if something has happened unusual, please get it checked out. So we're recommending that everyone get a screening mammogram at the age of 40 because we can pick it up early and 98% cure rate mm -hmm. if we pick it up early. So early detection is key. If the breast cancer has grown greater than the size of a quarter, the five-year survival drops down to about 90%. Once it has started to spread and the tumor has gotten larger, say four centimeters, the statistics tell us that the five-year survival drops down to 80%. Hmm. And then once it has spread to your lungs or your liver, it drops to 30%. So we want to make everyone aware that we have the tools to treat breast cancer. We just need to diagnose it and pick it up early. So I'm recommending that everyone in here get your mammograms, tell your friends, take them to the doctor, be a support system, be there for them to tell them about breast cancer. We know that dense breasts tend to be more common to have breast cancer. Women age over 55, Race, ethnicity plays a role. Anyone in your family has breast cancer, it puts you at higher risk for breast cancer. Some people even have a gene mm. that we can pick up in the blood that mm. says that you have a risk for breast cancer. Mm. And then lastly, we want to say that with breast cancer awareness during this month, we want to spread the word, make everyone aware, but the main thing is when you feel a lump or see a lump, get it checked out. Don't be afraid. Because we can do something if we can catch it early. Amen. Amen. Amen.